Situated in the centre of Bregate Park, this Tudor mansion was completed by Thomas Gray and his son in 1520. The park extends to 830 acres of countryside that is now open to explore. The ruins of Bregate House and Old John Tower are the more notable features of the park. Today, only the outlines of Bregate House are still standing. Remains of walls, cellars, drainage, the kitchen fireplace, bread ovens and other bits and pieces. The only building that retains a roof is the chapel. Although it has been much changed over the years, it does still contain the tomb of Sir Henry Gray and his wife, Anne Windsor. We decided to ask members of the public what they had heard about the paranormal activity around Bradgate Park. Um, what do you know about the history of Bradgate Park? Oh, we've got a book. We know quite a bit about it. <laughs> Hello? Well, uh, do you know anything about <coughs> Lady it? Jane Grey? Lady Jane Grey? Lady Jane. Yeah. Well, she was queen for nine days, wasn't she? And then she was beheaded in the tower because they, they said she could be queen and then they questioned it, so they executed her. <laughs> Um, have you heard about any hauntings here? Any what? Hauntings. Hauntings, hauntings no. Yeah. Um, do you know anything about the history of Bragget Park? Little bit, not much. No, do you know anything about Lady Jane Grey? Yeah. Yeah? Um, have you heard about any hauntings, any sightings mm. around here or in the chat? Yeah. Yeah? You wouldn't have, but yeah. Where do you hear it from? Um, if I'm honest with you, when I was at school, We'd always have like a little, when you try and do your scary talks and things, and oh, we yeah. always said, oh yeah, you heard about Lady Jane Grey, headless, running around the, yeah. around the fields <laughs> and everything. And we were like, what? So at times we'd always think, if ever you've seen it, but never ever been never. seen. Lady Jane Grey, who was born at the house and was Queen of England for nine days, is still said to walk the grounds. According to a paranormal database, one paranormal story says that she arrives in a coach pulled by four black headless horses on Christmas Eve. Her reoccurring shadow still haunts both the mansion and the grounds surrounding. Yeah. Bradgate Park has already played host to a number of paranormal on, investigations over here. the years. Come within the ruins, come outside of the ruins, you must be watching us. Come and tell us something, come and tell us something about this place. Did you live here? step outside here and talk with us. Don't be scared of us, we're only here to communicate with you. The years 2015. This investigation had 730 views on YouTube and was not posted or published anywhere else. We decided to take our search for Lady Jane Grey into the woods to see if it had more of an impact. Here to communicate with Lady Jane Grey. If there is any spirits here, make yourself. If anyone would haunt this place, it would be Lady Jane Grey. She was queen for nine days and then was charged with treason before she got her head cut off. She, she is still supposed to haunt Bregate Park to this day. Lady Jane, are you there? Lady Jane? Any spirit knock twice if you're here. Lady Jane? Did you used to live in that big mansion down there? Is that you? Is there any other spirits here? Is there anyone else apart from Lady Jane Grey haunting Frankgate Park? If there is anyone there, please knock twice. Our investigation was unsuccessful and we do not believe that there is any paranormal activity in this location. However, 
Considering the volume of claims from the public, it makes you question if there is truth in the myth of Bragate Park.